Here I'm going to show you how to allow only text or only numbers to be entered into a cell within Excel. We're going to combine a custom formula with data validation in order to achieve this. Now there are a number of different ways to do this and you could even use the default data validation rules here with whole number for the numbers and text length for the text. However, I don't really like this so much because I find that it allows certain characters in there that you may not want. For text, you can put things, let's say text length, minimum to 12, okay? Now we can do text. We can do numbers. We can do other things that are not text and numbers. We can do a lot of stuff that I really wouldn't want in there. Pretty much the only thing that we can't do is put too many in. So what I want to do is to give you the tools that you need in order to choose specifically what you want to be able to be entered. So I've got a nice long formula here. And all I'm going to do in this tutorial is to tell you how to change it to work for the characters that you want. If you want an in-depth, thorough explanation of exactly how all of this works, you can watch the tutorial that shows you how to allow only alphanumeric characters to be entered into a cell in Excel. That's a very long tutorial where I cover everything. Here, all you need to do is to update the cell references to point to the correct cell. In this case, it would be B1. So B1. Now let's go here. B1. And here, B1. Lastly, go here in between the double quotation marks at the end, where we have 0 through 9 and A through Z, and simply adjust this list accordingly. So I only want letters. Let's go ahead, remove the numbers. There we go. So I will copy this. Go up to the cell for data validation, hit Alt-D-L, or go to the Data tab, Data Validation. For Allow, let's go to Custom, input the formula, and hit OK. Now I can do text, but if I do Numbers, Error. If I do Text and Numbers, error. And if I do anything that's not text, we're going to get an error. So this is a complex formula. I wouldn't waste my time trying to build this from scratch, but once you've got it, it's very easy to change for whatever situation you need. So we just did that for text. Now let's go ahead and do it for numbers in B2. So we change the A to a B. Three locations for the cell references. And you could make this formula more versatile if you wanted to, depending on your skills. But now we go down here, and we remove the letters. Copy everything. Data validation, Alt-D-L, allow, custom, formula, enter. OK. Now I can put numbers. No letters. What about numbers with a dash and some more numbers? Nope. So the nice thing with this formula is that it's only going to allow what is within this list. That means that you get to specify what you can put in there. Let's say that you only want someone to be able to enter a range of five different letters. Well, over here you can input the five letters that you want someone to be able to enter. Or a combination of four different numbers. Let's say a 1, a 4, a 7, and a 9. Put those in there, and that's all that someone's going to be able to enter in the cell. So this formula is really great. I recommend simply writing this down or putting it in a spreadsheet, saving that spreadsheet and putting it somewhere, or downloading the workbook for this tutorial. Or if you want a really thorough explanation like I mentioned in the beginning of the tutorial, Watch my Excel tutorial for how to allow only alphanumeric characters to be entered into a cell in Excel.
But as far as this tutorial goes, that's all you have to do in order to allow only text or only numbers to be entered into a cell in Excel.